Another use of blending modes that I find useful is just selecting certain parts and color matching them. So for example, if we get sent a sample by a client and for example, they want to make this headboard this color, what we can do is turn on our wire color and make the selection. And if you don't have your wire color, you could always try and use quick selection. Um, if I press control D to deselect, we can select, sorry, with our layer selected, we can try and select this headboard. So you can see why we kind of want a wire color, but it's not impossible if you don't have one. So control D will deselect and control shift D will actually reselect. So I'm just going to select our headboard using our wire color. We don't actually have to have it visible either. So it's quite handy just to have it select that layer and magic wand it. And then what I'm going to do is add a solid color adjustment layer. And then using the eyedropper, I can select a color from our sample and hit OK. Now, if I change this blend mode to color, it's going to change the color of our headboard to this. Now it's not spot on. So I want to add, add another adjustment layer and I'm going to hold control and select our layer mask. So what it does is select our headboard again, and then I can select levels and I'm just going to bring that down to make it a bit brighter. And I'm just looking at the sample and trying to match it up. And that looks good. And finally, let's add a vibrance, maybe pull the saturation down a little bit, add some more vibrance. You could add a color adjustment as well if you wanted, but yeah, you can keep playing with it. And that is a really quick way to match colors up and use the blending modes. Hi guys, and thanks for watching. I hope you found that video useful. This video is actually part of a larger course, so if you think you'd find that useful, then check out the link in the description and feel free to like and subscribe.